Yo, Tactical Jason, I got you something a little easier to carry than your machete. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button if you like the content. Make sure to hit that like button, it really helps out the channel. Super excited for today's video. Right here we got a knife from Holtzman's Gorilla Survival. They sent this out for me to try out. This one is called the Hornet. Holtzman's a great company, really cool people. Make some really awesome knives. All right, let's open it up and see what's in the box. All right, to start out with, it's got a pretty nice like gift box. And then this has got magnets on it to keep it closed. Then the first thing you see when you open the box is like an instruction sheet telling you how to maintain your knife. Even shows you how to sharpen it. Gives you a nice little rundown here. And the knife is D2 steel, so it does require a little bit of maintenance. You don't want it rusting on you. So after you're done camping and doing whatever you're doing with it, you want to clean it and wipe it down and oil it. And not only does this show you how to sharpen it, it has some instruction here on how to hone it, which is totally different than sharpening. So it's kind of nice that they add that. Then you got this foam cover. All right, and on the inside here, you got your uh, silica gel packet. This is not candy, so do not eat it. Uh, uh, God damn it. Then you got a little thank you card here and a QR code for a free gift. And this is like the like survival kit. It comes with the ferro rod here for starting fires. The same G10 material that the grip is made from. Then you got the matching striker for the ferro rod. Or you could use the knife to strike it also. It's got their little gorilla emblem on there. It's kind of cool. It also comes with a tool. The Allen on one side and a Phillips screwdriver on the other side for adjusting the sheath. They also threw in some uh, like paracord here. That stuff's always useful. Then you got the Kydex sheath. Pretty nice quality. It's got a spot on here for the striker and the ferro rod. Nice positive click. No rattles with that. And the ferro rod. Just here like that, and then you can wrap this cord around to keep that tight in place. Also, no rattles. And then the clip, it's got this button here, and that pops up. Seems pretty sturdy. Clip on your belt loop. And then this extra leather strap here so when you put your knife on make sure it stays in place and doesn't pop out then you got the knife got a little protective sheath on there this thing is awesome got the g10 green grip nicely contoured Yeah, as far as fixed blades, this thing is beefy. Feels super good in the hand. In my medium-sized hands, I easily get four fingers on there. Yeah, it feels really good. D2 steel. It's got the nice little uh, gorilla emblem on there. I like how it's nice and clean looking. No major billboarding. Some companies plaster the name all over stuff and it just kind of looks tacky to me. Got some oil on there. Got a nice sharpening choil there so you can 
Sharpen this thing a few times. I don't think you'll have any problems there. All right, now for some of the specs. It's a perfect size. That's what she said. So the total length of the knife is 9.37 inches long, 4.68 inch blade, and the blade thickness is an eighth of an inch. Nice and beefy, shouldn't have any problems batoning. 58 to 60 HRC hardness, and the blade grind is a saber. Really nice looking, kind of got the uh, frosted upper part here, or satin. Really nice quality. And the grip is about 1.4 inches wide. And like I said, with the contouring and the shape of it, it just feels perfect in the hand. Like whether you're cutting wood or rope or anything like that for a long period of times, I wouldn't see any reason why your hand would get sore. Also another cool touch is the bolt-on grips. So that way if it ever gets wet, you can take these off and clean the blade underneath and keep it nice and not rusted. Here in Wisconsin, I haven't really had too much problems with uh, blades rusting. But like I said, as long as you keep up with maintenance and you know keep oil and stuff on them, they're gonna be totally fine. It'll last a long time. And it is very, very sharp as any knife should come. And I believe this is called a tech lock. It's also got a hole here for a lanyard if you want to do that with that paracord they included. And also another cool feature of the sheath, this clip here can be turned to the side. So if you want like a vertical or horizontal carry. All right, let's see how well it fits in the sheath. Oh, a nice positive click. I like that. No rattles at all. Tension, like, man, this thing is in there. That ain't going nowhere. And also it has this extra strap here. It goes around just in case. Like, man, you, uh, yeah, this thing, super durable. That is not going to go anywhere and as for this extra leather strap it is held on by a screw in there so you can use the tool to uh, take it off if you don't want to use that but yeah i really like that that sheath is super nice i've had a lot of sheaths in my day that when you put it in there it just doesn't doesn't have that click Definitely better than some of the ones I've had in the past. And this kit is super awesome. That comes with the ferro rod and the striker. I like doing a lot of camping and hiking. So that'll come in handy. As of colors, this is the green G10. It also comes in a black with like a red or orange liners. It's also very nice looking. I'm going to leave links in the description, and I also have a discount code for my subscribers. Save you a little bit of money. It will be an affiliate link, so that helps out the channel. And these usually sell for $200, and as of right now, the filming of this video, they are on sale for $99, which is a steal for everything you get. Like, this would make a great gift or even just another uh, knife for your collection. But if you use my discount code, the link below, you will save 10%, which will help you even more. Then you can buy two. This is a really good idea. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just give it a little test and see how well it cuts. Oh, wow. Man, that thing cuts really good. Even slow. Yeah, this thing is nice and sharp. And then right here, I got some pretty thick, like PVC rubber-ish tubing. 
pretty durable stuff. Yeah, cuts through it pretty good, and this stuff is really thick. All right, I'm gonna cut a little bit of cardboard. It's like your basic thickness. Yeah, even with the thick blade, it slices pretty good. Yeah, if you don't have a fixed blade, and you're looking for your first one, this one is perfect. Bang for buck, all the things you get in this kit is totally worth it. I've never used a clip like this before, so I'm curious to see how that's going to hold up. I mean, the uh, polymer that's made out of it, it seems really durable. And then on the inside here, too, you can see these screws, so you can move it this way or tilt it. you got a bunch of different mounting options there, which is really nice. And big thanks again for Holtzman's Gorilla Survival for sending this out. I'm really excited to put this thing to the test. And I highly recommend you check out the website because he makes survival knives. They got folding knives, multi-tools, a lot of really cool stuff on the site. And I'm always a big supporter of these smaller family-owned companies. Their main goal is to make quality and not quantity. And made in the USA, that's always great. So this is America? All right, well, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Really appreciate the support. Make sure to check out those links in the description. And get that discount. If you order one of these, you will not be disappointed. Make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next one.